Hi everyone, this is Nurse Anna and welcome to another episode of NurseStudy.net. Today we're going to be talking about the pituitary gland, otherwise known as the master gland. The pituitary gland is a small pea-sized gland that sits in a bony enclosure of the brain known as the cella tersica. It has two regions, the anterior, which is the larger region, and the posterior, which is the smaller region. The anterior pituitary is responsible for producing six hormones. The first is ACTH, which stimulates the adrenal glands, GH, or the growth hormone, or also known as somatotropin, for healthy body composition and growth in a child, TSH, which activates the thyroid gland to produce hormones, prolactin, which basically is responsible for the stimulation of milk production. And then we have FSH and LH. They both work together for functioning of the testes and the ovaries. Now I came up with a mnemonic that might help you remember these six hormones. It's a girl told people funny lies. So the A would stand for ACTH, the G would stand for growth hormone, etc. And I hope that helps you guys. As far as the posterior pituitary gland goes, it is responsible for oxytocin, which causes the contraction of the uterus during childbirth and stimulates milk production, and ADH, which stimulates the kidney to increase water absorption. So as far as pituitary disorders go, the most common is a pituitary gland tumor. Now this is usually benign, and I don't want you to get this mixed up with a brain tumor. This is usually very different. As far as anterior pituitary disorders go, we have hypopituitarism, which is basically the undersecretion of hormones. Here we're going to see severe weight loss, atrophy of all endocrine glands and organs, hair loss, impotence, and amenorrhea. Hypoglycemia will also be seen. In hyperpituitarism, that's overproduction of the hormones, we're going to see acromegaly in the adults, the broad skull, protruding jaw, broadening of hands and feet, thick tongue and large hands and feet, decreased libido, amenorrhea, and impotence. And we will move on to posterior pituitary disorders. Here we're going to see diabetes insipidus because it disrupts the storage of production and release of ADH. And SIADH, which is excessive ADH activity with water retention and diluted hyponatremia. So that's basically it for our little spiel on the basics of the pituitary gland. We're going to actually move on to other parts of the endocrine system. But if you could do us a favor and like us on our Facebook page at Nurse Study Net or on our YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the like button. And this is Nurse Anna saying good night and have a really good semester. Take care. <laughs>